We have a titration calculation here, and it tells us in uh, titration 25 centimetre cubed sulfuric acid. So the first thing we're going to do is write all this data on top of the substances in the equation. So we've got 25 centimetre cubed sulfuric acid. We're going to act with 26.75 centimetre cubed. So we've got 26.75 centimetre cubed. Uh, lithium hydroxide of 0.25 mole per decimetre cubed. It's 0.25 mole per decimetre cubed concentration. Uh, calculate the concentration of the sulfuric acid. So the question mark is the sulfuric acid mole per decimeter cubed. Okay, this is a moles calculation, so it's got three stages. Stage one, moles. Stage two, stoichiometry. And stage three, moles. Now, what's important is we know the moles equation that, in, that has uh, volume and concentration in it. Uh, that is moles equals volume divided by a thousand multiplied by concentration. All right, now the reason we put the data on top uh, and around the reactants here is we're trying to work out what data to put into this calculation in stage one. Uh, now we use the substance that we have all the information for. So we've got all the information for lithium hydroxide. So we're going to do moles of lithium hydroxide in this first stage. Put another way, the question mark is moles 3, so we're going to reserve that for stage 3. We're going to put this data here into this, uh, into this formula, so 26.75 divided by 1000 times 0.25. Concentration 0.25, 26.75 is the volume. Uh, sticking that into our calculator. So 26.75 divided by 1000 multiplied by 0.25 equals... 6.6875 times 10 to the minus 3 equals 6.6875 times 10 to the minus 3 uh, moles of, and this is important, lithium hydroxide. Lithium hydroxide. We have just worked out the moles of lithium hydroxide. Right. Stage 2. Stoichiometry. H2SO4. We write out the part of the equation that we're interested in. We're interested in sulfuric acid reacting with lithium hydroxide. Not interested in this, we're not interested in this. We've just worked out we've got the moles of lithium hydroxide. So let's write that under lithium hydroxide, 6.6875 times 10 to the minus 3. Now, the number before lithium hydroxide is 2. The question mark, what we're trying to find out, is underneath the sulfuric acid. So we're going from the 2 uh, to the sulfuric acid. Now, there's no number before the sulfuric acid, so there's an invisible number 1 there. It is a number 1. So we're going from the 2 to the 1. Put an arrow starting with what the moles we've got and we're going towards the question mark two to one question how do we get from two to one what mathematically do we have to do to two to turn to one answer we have to divide by two okay so we divided two by two to get one so whatever we had to do to the two we have to do to that 6.6875 answer divide by two so let's do that now We've got a number in the calculator still divide by two equals 3.3475 times 10 to the minus 3. 3.34375 3, uh, times 10 to the minus 3 moles. Okay, stage 3. We've got this moles equation here. Moles equals volume divided by 1,000 times concentration. We've now got the moles of sulfuric acid. We've got the volume of sulfuric acid, and we want to work out the concentration, so we have to rearrange this. Okay, so our moles was 6. Point, no, it wasn't, sorry. Our moles is here, 3.34. 3.3, I'm just going to put 3.34 in for the time being, just round that to that. Uh, equals, the volume is 25. I wrote that up there. The question mark underneath the volume of sulfuric acid is 25. 25 divided by 1,000, multiplied by the concentration, and the concentration is the question mark. So we have to rearrange this equation. To rearrange that, the first thing I'm going to do is sort out that sum there. I'm just going to make it a little bit easier for myself to rearrange. 3.34 equals 0 0.025 times question mark. So I've divided 25 by 1000 and got 0 0.025. I'm still a massive fan of these formula triangles. Formula triangles always have a divide and a multiply. Uh, now this uh, this formula here, this, uh, this, this, this math, bit of maths here has a multiply in it. 
on the right hand side of the multiplier is a question mark, so there's the multiplier on the right hand side, let's put the question mark on the left hand side 0 0.025. Which means that 3.34 times 10 to the minus 3 that was my, um, has to go on the top. 3.34 times 10 to the minus 3 has to go on the top. Finger mark over the question, finger over the question mark, uh, it's 3.34 divided by 0 0.025. Okay, so 3.34 times 10 to the minus 3 divided by 0 0.025, and that is going to be our final answer. 3.34 times 10 to the minus 3 divided by now 0 0.025 equals, and our answer is 0 0.13, uh, and we can round that now to 4, 3 significant figures is fine, unless it's asks for anything else, no. 0 0.134, uh, answer, unit mole per decimeter cubed, the unit for concentrations mole per decimeter cubed, and there is our final answer.